and the evidence is from a, around the globe. These processes have for a long time been carried out in countries such as Australia and Germany, in addition to the Netherlands and the Irish case that I've already mentioned. Throughout the world, the evidence speaks clearly. Ordinary citizens are able to constructively come up with recommendations that are of a high quality and that address complex policy topics. You can consider the case of British Columbia. A co designing a complex electoral system for a whole province of a country such as Canada is a highly technical complex matter. And nonetheless, according to multiple political scientists who studied the process, the citizens, the 160 citizens who participated in the British Columbia Citizens Assembly back in 2004, did an excellent job. Also here in the US, we've had similar experiences with the same results. In the state of Oregon, and since then the process has spread to other states, there's an initiative called the Citizens Initiative Review, which also places ordinary citizens working together, very much in a process similar to the one I described to you here today, coming together and producing a document stating their views on a ballot measure that will be presented in a referendum to the general population. A few years ago, an organization called America Speaks convened what they called 21st century town hall meetings, bringing together large hundreds of ordinary citizens to think through complex policy topics and present their recommendations at the end of the process. So the evidence couldn't be clearer. Here in the US, in Canada, elsewhere in the world, ordinary citizens repeatedly show themselves able and highly competent when it comes to analyzing complex policy topics and producing a set of policy recommendations.